fucking smoker! You just smoked a pig! Alrighty everyone, in this video here, I thought about getting on here and giving you a little little bit more of a rundown just because uh, in the moment, I didn't, I didn't video much of this. But anyhow, the bird that I get in this video, I hunted uh, three or four different mornings, got very close many, many times. Um, at, one, at one hunt, I had him within like 30 yards. I could hear him walking in the leaves, dragging his wings in the leaves when he was strutting and he just never would break over the ridge so anyhow this morning when I killed him it was very very windy after I hunted that morning I ended up hearing him so I know I knew where he was so I slid all the way around on the ridge come up over the top and I actually had a, a, a fan with me off a off a bird that I had killed the year before and uh, I was able to get on top of the ridge with him and actually crawl down and get on the same little flat spot that he was on uh, and a few calls I turned the camera on this shot is like 10 seconds long because uh, that's how quick it happened once I got into his bubble called at him a few times he closed the distance I looked up and here he come I raised the shotgun up right over the top of the fan and, and dumped him I hope you guys enjoy and here it is all right I made a farm move just got out of the truck. Turkeys were got one. I guess I dropped my striker in the truck. I hope. Forgot my phone. But the turkeys are hammered. Been working one out in front of me. Two more just opened up across the creek. So I'm gonna sit here and uh, see if one of them wants to play the game.
eating a lot this morning off the roost. Birds worked on to the neighbors. So I slid all the way back around. I'm actually not too far from where we parked the trucks. Uh, my brother killed one in this field last year. I believe it was last year, maybe the year before. So i just been standing over here listening and I'm pretty sure I heard one gobble on this ridge right here. So I just got set up in, in this big old log pile here. Got the decoys out in front of me. And I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit and uh, see what happens. It's pretty windy now. But it's got a lot of movement on my decoy out there so that's a good thing. So anyhow, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and see what happens. It's uh, it's only 7.50. So, I mean, the morning's still young. So, we'll see. Here it is, my first bird of the season, and it is April 30th. I've hunted my butt off. I've logged a lot of hours setting over bl in blinds, looking over <clears throat> food pots. So we got here this morning. I, got, I went ahead and got way off in the timber where I knew they'd be roosted. Of course they were roosted, but another probably 200 yards further than what I thought they would be. So I worked those birds for just a little bit once they flew down. They really didn't say much after that. So. I headed back towards the truck and uh because my brother's hunting up there and i don't want to interrupt his hunting so i went back towards the truck and i was just standing at the truck basically and i heard one gobble and i just wasn't for sure where it was because it's windy 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 so i just stood there and listened and he gobbled again and that time i was able to pinpoint him and i believe this is the same bird that me and douglas worked like the first week of season for like two hours on top of this ridge here in front of me so once I knew it was him up there on the ridge, I just slid all the way around, got up on top, uh, and I actually had my fan with me today. Crawled all the way up to the tip top, got in his comfort zone, and uh, just kept cutting at him with the Bean Creek Slate call, and he couldn't take it. I looked up, the last time he gobbled, I knew he was really close, and I looked over the fan, and here he come. He was 20 yards, so I went ahead and just raised up. He seen me, went to turn and leave, and I dumped him, and. The rest is history. So, hope you guys enjoy and we'll catch you in the next one.